If you've been following Rise Again on Facebook, you may have seen our most recent hashtag, Acts 4:34 and 35. In this passage, the Bible tells us this, neither was there any among them that lacked, for as many as were possessors of lands or houses sold them, and brought the prices of the things that were sold, and laid them down at the apostles' feet. And distribution was made unto every man according as he had need. What we see in the book of Acts is, a, is a, about a people, followers of Jesus, the church, with a heart full of love and a willingness to help those in need. More and more I'm realizing that God has given us abundant opportunity to be a book of Acts church. The opportunities are right before us. As I share this message with you today, our benevolence fund recipient, Brother Jacob Dorn, is in need. He and his wife have chosen to seek natural treatment in Mexico, a treatment that Jacob has experienced positive results from in the past, rather than be forced to pursue chemotherapy or radiation here in the United States. By making this decision, the Dorns have been forced to pay for their own medical expenses. But the good news is this, the total cost for the three-week treatment is only $7,500, and I'm happy to report that we are almost 80% of the way to the goal. I want to personally thank each of you that have donated through PayPal via the Rise Again website or have mailed a check either to Rise Again or to the Dorans. I also want to encourage those who may be watching this video that no donation is too small. If you can only afford to send a check for $5, please send it. Your gift will make a difference. The bottom line is this, Jacob and his family are in need. And I have complete faith that we can meet the need Let's be a Book of Acts church. Let's give to those in need. 